The headline is cracking me up, but I have a feeling the story might upset us. So this this seems to be a book aimed at children. This wasn't a teacher acting inappropriate. An elementary school administrator in Mississippi has said he was fired for reading I Need a New Butt, a humorous children's book about bottoms to a class of second graders. The incident has spurred criticism from free speech advocates who claim the termination could have a chilling effect at a time of conservative-fueled pushes for book bans in schools across the U.S. On the 2nd of March, Read Across America Day, pupils age 6 and 7 from Hines County, Mississippi, were waiting for a school administrator to read to them in a Zoom session. The administrator was unable to attend, so Toby Price an assistant principal at Gary Road Elementary School who was in his office stepped in. He quickly picked up I Need a New Butt by Don McMillan and started reading to around 240 children. So you can see there is a read aloud, Lindsay out loud of I Need a New Butt on YouTube. It looks like it's geared towards kids need a new butt for readers aged between four and eight it's about a boy who sets out to find a new bottom after seeing a crack in his buttocks which makes him afraid it is broken that's that's fucking funny i mean like who who hasn't made that joke when they're a kid like that's a great premise to riff off of price who has been teaching for 20 years said the district superintendent uh, Delalesia Martin called him into her office and told him he was being placed on leave. Two days later, Price said he was accused of breaking the Mississippi Educator Code of Ethics and fired. I expected a write-up, Price told the Times. I did not expect to get terminated. I cried the entire way home. In a letter to Price, the superintendent reportedly called the book inappropriate, pointing to references to flatulence. Oh my god! Oh my god! Flatulence! And noting that it described butts in various colors shapes and sizes for example fireproof butts and bulletproof butts and bomb proof butts I don't I don't need to be laughing at this because I feel sorry for Mr. Price Price said school officials told him they feared complaints from parents and Martin said he had been unprofessional Price told the Times he had a lawyer and would fight his firing. Neither Martin nor members of the school board immediately responded to Guardian requests for comment. In America, the author's organization urged school officials to reverse their decision. Bombproof. Mine, mine is not bombproof. It is quite susceptible to bombs going off constantly. Plumber's butt. Certainly, the book in question is meant to be humorous for a young audience, and fellow educators might reasonably question if it was the optimal choice for this particular occasion. But in positing, uh, uh, positioning the act of reading a book as a violation of ethics, the district is implying that any educator could be terminated under similar circumstances, whether an anonymous source feels a book read to students is inappropriate for any reason. Such a precedent could be readily abused, enforced with unbridled discretion to censor the reading of books in schools. Price told the Times literacy instruction was crucial at his school in a county where more than 21% lived under the poverty line. Damn, yeah, I'm 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 rooting for Mr. Price. Fucking sue and get your job back. And the book sounds humorous and totally acceptable. Bomb proof butt.
giving kids motivation, making reading fun for them. Absolutely. 